Along with every novel technology comes a great deal of hype and expectation, and Apple's watch is no different. There is this idea of the hype cycle, which states that at first, every new technology is extremely overhyped, followed by extreme disappointment, and it is only then does it slowly reach a realistic equilibrium. When we think of smartwatches, we often think of fitness tracking, text notifications, and other trivial extensions of our phones. But the true mark of success will be when they offer killer apps that are independent of our phones. I think we're just beginning to climb out of the disappointment phase as truly innovative applications are emerging, particularly around health. We're already seeing reports of Apple Watches saving lives and uncovering health conditions such as heart arrhythmia, kidney and liver damage, and even oncoming heart attacks just by monitoring a user's heart rate. A Stanford study recently concluded that Apple's watch had the most accurate heart rate detection out of all consumer smartwatches. And as sensors get more advanced and accurate, we can expect more groundbreaking health applications. But could natural birth control be one of them? The idea of a smartwatch as a viable contraception alternative may seem outrageous, but it's not as crazy as it sounds. The contraception method is obviously not surgical or hormonal, but rather mathematical in nature, as it pinpoints the exact days in a woman's cycle in which she's not fertile. As it turns out, there's a direct correlation between a woman's lowest body temperature, also known as basal temperature, and her fertility, since basal temperature tends to rise during ovulation. A Swedish company called Natural Cycles has created an app that claims a 99% pregnancy prevention rate just by tracking a woman's temperature and alerting her on the days she cannot get pregnant. Smartwatches in the past, like Basic Peak, had the capability to measure skin temperature, so it's not unreasonable to expect a skin thermometer in future generations of Apple Watch. Even though skin temperature is different from basal temperature, companies like TempDrop have already solved for this discrepancy. Now as awesome as it would be for Planned Parenthood to start handing out Apple Watches instead of Trojans, condoms and birth control are not going anywhere as they have significant advantages like affordability, frequency of use since women only have a few non-fertile days per month, and most importantly, battery life.